Hello everyone, I'm Elle and welcome back to my ethical fashion YouTube channel and today we are diving into a very exciting and impactful challenge that could change the way we think about fashion. It's the No New Clothes Challenge by Remake. So for the next 90 days, it can be our own little way of taking meaningful action and make a real difference in the fashion industry. But why take the no new clothes challenge? Well, the main purpose is to stop and consider the values we want to wear and our role in addressing overconsumption to change the fashion future. It also allows us to take intentional time and effort to reduce our personal carbon footprint, limit fabric waste, and keep our hard earned money out of the pockets of companies and brands that harm people and the planet. And to give context of our current fashion industry, it's rapidly producing fast fashion based on micro trends. Now as consumers, we're often struggling to keep up and to stay stylish. But honestly, did you know that the average consumer purchases about 16 pieces every three months? And that's yeah, honestly, a lot of clothes. And I just hope that buying nothing new or only secondhand for 90 days can be meaningful for me and hopefully for you and to take some collective effort. Now, let's talk about the impact. Well, fashion is first and foremost a feminist issue. While most fashion executives are men, women make up about 80% of the industry's workforce and often face exploitation. Shockingly, 93% of the garment workers aren't even paid a livable wage and endure unsafe working conditions. And on top of that, 92 million tons of textiles are discarded yearly, only to end up in the global south where countries are literally forced, forced to manage it under very tight contracts and very harsh conditions. Now, clothing also comes at a very enormous environmental cost. Cheap clothing is made with plastic-based materials, often polyester, and it literally takes 200 years for this clothing to decompose. And it releases harmful chemicals and microplastics within its process, which is really messed up. And to add more on top of that, excess shopping can even have a negative mental health effect. Fashion corporations honestly trick us into buying more and more and more, but research suggests, suggests that materialism is linked to increased senses of loneliness. By taking this challenge, hopefully I personally can better resist these manipulative tactics and focus on what truly matters like self-care, rest, and inner healing. But how do you officially take on the no new clothes challenge? Well, the rules are up to you. Some people choose to buy no apparel at all. Others try to limit their purchases to secondhand only. Others try to borrow clothing, swap clothing, rent clothing, rewear clothing, upcycle and mend. I personally prefer to only buy the essentials like shorts and shirts I don't have right now. But it's really up to you, so feel free to support sustainable fashion brands. You can also save up for a really cool sustainable fashion piece, or you can invest your money in a secondhand or vintage piece that you've always wanted. You can feel free to buy intimates, swimwear, socks from anywhere. I'll leave it up to you, but I'll put down some brands in my YouTube description for you to look at if you're not sure what brands to try. And the no new clothes challenge doesn't have to mean no shopping at all. It's really what you make it by refraining from purchasing new clothing for the next three months. It'll hopefully help you and me and everyone become more aware of our consumption and wasteful habits and learn how to better access them and challenge them. So hopefully it'll also help you save some money and other resources associated to the production of clothing. So feel free to sign up. The link to Remake's challenge will be in my description. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you are going to take up the challenge, let me know what your goals are in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know what other ethical fashion content you want to see from me. Peace and love, Elle.